Uh, ooh, crikey, we're going back a while. Uh, getting roped in on a Saturday morning really early on because um, they didn't have enough players when I was seven. I come from a rugby country. I was told, go and play a bit of football. And uh, remember, I hadn't got a clue what I was doing. I remember picking the ball up in my first session and thought, I've got no chance here. Uh, and luckily I went on to have a half decent career. That was my first memory, not really a positive one, but I've got better ones since. Oh, that's a belter. Um, intense, uh, joker, honest, direct. Uh, my brothers hammer me all the time. They will say I'm too, I give too many people too much of my time. So uh, probably busy is probably the words I'd be described. So I work as a full-time football coach over at, uh, in Leighton Buzzard for Luton Town Cedars on the A-Level project. So I do the day-to-day -day coaching there and trying to build the next, uh, next batch of footballers coming through from the ages of 16 to 19, intelligent boys. Whew, that's a, no, these questions are good, aren't they? Um, my sporting hero, Jonah Lomu. Now, actually, let me rephrase that. Sia Khaleesi, the Springbok captain, is my all-time sporting hero. After the Springboks won the World Cup, which uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, I was delighted when they did that. Good question. Um, I decided when I finished playing at 20, so I'd been, uh, been at Luton Town until the age of 19. Actually had my final game of my career here at Creasy Park, which didn't end well. Uh, and at 20, decided to go into coaching, which I did. And then I uh, was with Luton as a coach for 10 years, maybe 11, I think, a little bit longer. And then ended up in a position where I got a phone call at Oxford City. Do you want to come and be the assistant manager? National League South, and I've always been quite a competitive person. So I decided enough of the academy stuff, let's go into the results business and went and did that. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history up until now. Uh, away at Bath City um, for Hemel Hempstead. So I turned up on the Thursday, got, got appointed on the Wednesday, turned up on the Thursday to get a team ready. Uh, there were 11 injuries in the first team. We had more first team talent sat in the stands. Went there, nobody gave us a, a wing or a prayer, um, and we nicked a 1 0 win. So, uh, yeah, needless to say, it was a sleepless night, that one. So I remember it well, I remember it very fondly. Getting a good question. Um, job came available. I had a look at it. Uh, came down to watch the side. My, my first impression of the side was there was uh, some good players here. Probably even after 10 games, I thought a bit of a false league position, I'd like to think, and, uh, and decided, well, why not apply and see where it takes us? Met with, uh, met with Andrew and Gary on the match day. Was very impressed with the environment, the atmosphere. It was their first win of the season, so everything was a little bit uh, erratic, which was nice. Uh, and then went to the interview and was thoroughly impressed, really, really impressed. So was able to sit down, five-person panel, uh, really professional, which I've got to be honest, surprised me. Um, but really liked the people when I met them, liked the vision for the football club, liked the direction it's going. It's local, it's a club I've played for, great history, um, and I've watched from afar for, for quite a long period of time and just watched the club, unfortunately, find themselves a step five and thought, you know what, the ambition, let's get this club back up to where, where we're all like it to be. So that's the challenge. I'm under no illusions, it's going to be a tough one, but uh, one we're really looking forward to. So hence we're sitting here. That's, that's something I ask myself quite a lot. Um, passionate, uh, intense, hardworking, organised, um, do all the non-negotiables basically. If they buy in, I always say to players, I can live with ability errors. If you make a mistake through a technical fault, that is, us coaches are there to upskill you. If you do it through a lack of effort, attitude or application problems, inevitably it will end to, to you moving on. And that's the message that they'll be getting out to the club tonight. Uh, and that's what we want to see. We want people who pay their hard-earned money to come and watch the side. Inevitably, I want to see sweat in the shirt. That's what I will promise. And if we don't see that, there'll be, there'll be changes accordingly. Yeah, first and foremost, get in, get to know everybody, 
start building the, the way that we want to play, the way we want to go about our business. But most importantly, let's not beat around the bush. We've got to get ourselves away from trouble. Um, we don't want to be sat there looking over our shoulder in a few months' time. So we're aware of the need to win. We'll assess the squad, have a look at where we're at today, tonight, next couple of games, have a look at where we're at, and then make some decisions on, on who we're going to move forward with and indeed who we're going to bring in. So at the moment, we've got some, some recruitment targets in our mind. Um, but most importantly, as I said, we, we've got to start building and develop, developing a, a winning culture here, and starting as quickly as possible. The most important thing is uh, it doesn't matter how good your players are, it doesn't matter how good your facilities are, if you don't have a culture or your culture is rotten from inside, you, you stand very little chance. And we, we often hear about this, this mythical right way of playing. As I always say to people, you've got to be winning off the pitch before you even begin to win on, which is everybody pulling in the right direction, um, starting from myself right through to all my coaching staff, the board of directors, the committee, everybody's got to have the same vision. Um, and if you haven't got that, you'll soon, you'll soon start to fall apart. So that is really, really important that we build that quickly. Luckily, I know quite a few of the players here. I know the people here, which is good. So we're starting off at a point where I have an understanding of what we're working with. So hopefully that will speed up the process. And you know, there's lots of good people on and off the field here that hopefully can take us to the next level. Cool, I'd have both. Um, hopefully one of them's available on Saturday. Uh, Ronaldo for me, um, yeah, Ronaldo, I'd go with Ronaldo as a personal preference.